Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills. Guys, I have some sweet tea for you. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. Well, guys, of course, I'm talking about Southern Charm. And this time is about Mr. Thomas Revenel going into a rant against Southern Charm and Catherine and basically everyone. Well, he basically is saying that okay so he's talking about how you, you did you if you saw the last episode Catherine was like oh i just uh got this news that he's having another baby he never said anything to me she's like seven months uh uh seven months pregnant wherever you know so Everyone was like, you know, blasting him on social media saying, how could you, you know, this is the mother of your kid. You should have told her, don't keep her in the dark, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> he goes on and said that I didn't say anything because I didn't want the whole world to know in 12 hours. It is true. You know, if she, if he will have say something to Catherine, like everyone who have known from the beginning that he was having another baby. Also, his uh, girlfriend is 40 years old so it, it is a high risk pregnancy and he wanted her to have no stress at all that's why he waited so long to tell Catherine about this if this was a normal relationship between Catherine and Thomas probably he will tell her you know if she will be like oh, okay you know what you are right she's 40 let's not give her any stress but you will know that Catherine will have run away call every single paper, newspapers uh, websites whatever I'm being like girl I have the tea for you guess who's having another uh, bastard baby you know uh, it is bastard no it is like out of wed wedlock I don't know those south uh, things now he is not then blasting the show this is the part that i'm like do you really need to go there thomas he is saying that the show is boring without me please move on leave me out the, leave me the hell alone i'm sorry that your cast is that weak i'm gone live with it girl he is also saying i was not fired I decided to leave the show. Double girl. I mean, really? You were literally accused and found guilty of sexual harassment and you have to pay this girl $125,000 and you think that you were not fired. Really? Come on. I mean, the... Doesn't he know that he is a public figure? Doesn't he know that we have access to every single inf piece of information out there? Then uh, he goes on. Um, oh, because he, a lot of people were were saying like, oh, we miss you on the show. You were the show, blah, blah, blah. But he is not coming back. Like his family did an intervention on him. And they say like, if he come back to the show at the, even for one episode he will they will disown him and take all his money away and that he will never put uh, a foot back on the show now remember that the cameos that he did on southern charm um he i mean he wasn't paid he wasn't part of the show he was just there because catherine was living there but like no like he is no coming back he has no desire to coming back to southern charm because he is trying to say that he is too cool for the show bitch nobody knew who you who you were i mean honestly when uh, i remember watching the first season and he was like oh you know i'm a disgraced politician like everyone is talking about me i was like who the hell is this guy <laughs> honestly uh, yeah maybe in charleston maybe this big charleston knows who you are but not the world that's for sure so like you have to take it some notches down honestly uh, yeah, he was fun. I mean, he was funny sometimes, but then he was kind of an asshole. And now, I mean, maybe the show have changed, but I'm fine with it. 
at this point i'm not one of those kind of people who are like married to people and like you know the only person that i was married to was like lisa vanderpump and now i'm kind of like over it like of course if she comes back it will bring me the whole joy in the world but like it's like yeah you know what life is changing all the time we just have to change with it if the cast change let's just move let's just keep watching and see what happens you know but every single person is replaceable there will be always someone else better than you so it is what it is um let me know what you guys think on the comments below do you miss thomas on the show uh what do you think about what he's saying do you agree with him i don't know let me know guys and don't forget to like this video share this video and overall subscribe to my channel and i'll see you around see ya